Well, hey guys, how you doing? This is Radium Z, and uh, this is my second gamer vlog, actually, uh, that I'm gonna do for you guys. Uh, kinda had to wrap it up quick, cause uh, this week's been really nuts with all this filming stuff going on and all that. But uh, today we're gonna be reviewing some games, and uh, maybe some old games, too, as well. Well, to start this off, we're gonna watch a uh, Circuit City Gears of War 2 ad that just came out. And you know, I'm I'm on G4, I'm checking out this uh, gamer commercial, and uh, just watch the commercial and see if you can uh, find anything odd about this. I don't know. Circuit City's the place to save on the hottest new games. This Friday and Saturday only, get an Xbox Live 1600 points card free when you pick up Gears of War 2 rated M for Mature for just $59.99. Circuit City, we'll hook you up with the hottest new games. Come on down to your local Circuit City so you can join in with the murder. <laughs> it's like, what, what the fuck were they thinking? Wow, dude, uh, wrong audio for that kind of fucking commercial. You know what I mean? It's just kind of weird. It seems like they're like, selling this uber violent game and they had this hippie fucking pop soundtrack behind it. Oh god, I don't... I just don't understand that shit at all, man. I don't know. I mean, it should've sounded like this. If you come down to Circuit City this Friday and Saturday to buy Gears of War 2 on Xbox Live, you'll get a gamer card with some Xbox Live points on it. And you can take that card and cut your face off and f*** us with it. You'll have tons of fun with Gears of War 2. There's so much murder and death. The only thing that Gears of War 2 doesn't have is rape. Get your fucking hands off me. Sorry. Well, moving on. So, uh, yeah, so what's next? Oh yeah, oh yeah, uh, Bioshock came out for PlayStation 3. <laughs> yeah, I don't give a fuck, you wanna why? Because the game's so goddamn old now that, uh, who cares, dude? Instead of making a new game, PlayStation 3 has to suck off an old game and pop it out new like it's some new game. And I really hate when game systems do this. If they can't do well enough as it is, so they wanna bring out a game that came out a year ago that, uh, it's like, not a big surprise. Yeah, great, man. Now people that have spent half a thousand dollars on a game system can play an old fucking Xbox 360 game. I don't care, dude. I mean, it's like when GameCube put out Crazy Taxi. You know, it's like... Okay, well, I'm not gonna say too much about that because I like it when older games get rejuvenated, okay? But here's what, what I hate. It's when a game gets rejuvenated and then they put it on a fucking shelf for a thousand dollars. Like Resident Evil 2 and 3, actually. The, uh, I guess these are imports from the old uh, either... Dreamcast rips or whatever. I, I'm not too sure on that, but EBX sells it for 30 bucks, sometimes 40. It's like, dude, and it's been sitting on the shelves for years. It's not a really hot game. It's not rare because it's still sitting there. And there's a couple of them on the shelf every time I go into EBX. I mean, all over the place. So it's like, what's the big fucking rare item here? And how come it's so expensive? It's like, dude, if you want to really play this fucking game, I mean, you can buy it on N64 or find a cheap d d thing on eBay or Craigslist. But, uh, you know, you might get scammed or, you know, raped in the ass and then someone will fucking run away with, with your cash. Um, don't make me start on this people. God, I'm so sick of games being so expensive that are so fucking old. How could a classic gamer enjoy games if he's gonna be broke all the fucking time? I mean, you know, like sometimes I'll go down to the EBX and they got great cheap games there. I'm sorry, they got games that I never got to play when I was a kid because it cost so much money. But if you keep the price the same, then you're not getting anything different. It's like, what the fuck, I'm still broke. So, I mean, but you know, there's also other games that are um, really, really awesome that have uh, I've dug through and found that are great games that I'm gonna show you now. I mean, okay, if you love old school shooter games like I do, okay, like the side scrolling or the uh, upward scrolling or the 3D or whatever, this, these are some great finds, okay? Uh, sil, sil, slip speed, no, silpede, whatever. Anyway, 399. Okay, great find. It's a good shooter game. Check it out online. Uh, and uh, here's another tongue twister Castle Shikanami 2. Great game. I mean, awesome shooting game. Weird ass Japanese sound effects, but I love that sh And uh, look at how, how much it cost. It's cheap. You know, it's only $5.99 at EBX. Okay, if you like those old hack and slash games, like uh, this is a great one, uh, Dragon Guard. I mean, this one's actually like dark as f And you know, I paid $3 for this game. It's like, what the hell? I remember late nights with my friend Sterling um, playing Dragon Guard, man, and he was fucking eyes were bleeding. He played this game for like, I mean, weeks at a time, just in the dark, just, you know, TV fuzz is just bleaching your skin. And this guy was just, after a while, I just shake him. He almost hit me. I mean, he almost fucking knocked me out, man. I mean, I was like, dude, calm down, dude. This game is, I mean, this game is hardcore, man. But uh, I mean, I don't understand quite too much on the game aspect. I mean, you're this fucking weird guy that runs around with this dragon. But I'm sorry, the fucking characters are so weird. There's these like dead baby 
weird floating aliens in this game. I just can't, I, I can't explain it. Okay, well, here's a tip, guys, okay? Uh, you know, sometimes shopping at the old game store isn't really all what's cracked up to be. Um, games are expensive, and you always have to wait for them to, to come down, if they do, like I was saying earlier. But uh, check out this, man, pawn shops, okay? Check them out sometimes, because they, they have games, and they don't really base themselves just, just on games. So it's like, uh, they don't really know what they have sometimes either. It's like, they're like, up oh, every game's four bucks, you know? And so sometimes you find some great games, like, check this out, this pisses me off, okay? I just bought a Silent Hill 4 on Sony 2. For some reason on Xbox, it's like seven bucks or 12 bucks, but on PlayStation 2, it's like 30, 40 bucks, or, you know, 25 at the cheapest, okay? But it's like, dude, I mean, what's the big fucking deal? First of all, Silent Hill 4 had, it wasn't that great, okay? Three was even cooler, but had shitty controls. If they took the controls from four and put and, and had them on three, be the perfect game but uh sound hill 4 had really good controls well not that great but it was better than fucking three and uh but the game wasn't that great man it was just like i mean here's what i don't get sound hill 4 okay you're in your fucking room right on awesome great plot okay whatever but uh the horror just kind of seemed to be just like popped there all of a sudden you're in the horror you walk through a hole and you're in you know scary town which is kind of not really like sound hill 3 sound hill 3 like well here's an example in the opening you know you're a girl and uh, you go to the shopping mall, or whatever, or you're trying to you're trying to run from this guy. Who, this guy looks like the character from uh, Dead or Alive, uh, two or whatever, or I don't know what one. It's some kind of similar uh, look. But uh, anyway, you're a girl in Sound Hill Three. You're, you're trying to run away from this guy because he's trying to talk to you about some shit that you, you'll, you'll you'll find out later on in the game. But um, and then all of a sudden she like escapes through this you know like window, and then she goes into the shopping mall. The shopping mall slowly becomes like a nightmare. You start seeing blood prints on the floor, and then you're like. Labyrinth. It's almost like that movie Labyrinth. Yeah, where you know you're like uh, slowly going to hell, and I like that about Silent Hill because the whole game's supposed to be in your head and psycho, you know, and it slowly like introduces this world of size and scale. In Silent Hill 4, it's like boom! You're just all of a sudden, you know, you're sitting in your room, you know, and all of a sudden I'm in Nightmare Land. All of a sudden, it's like it's not. It doesn't really get me to fucking. It it, it, it doesn't sell me uh, anyway. But uh, okay, so here back to my fucking plot. Okay, yeah, anyway, Silent Hill 4. Okay, so I'm in this pawn shop. And I saw it there, shrunk wrapped, okay, factory sealed for 10 bucks they were selling it. Gears of War 1, I can give a fuck. I'd rather fucking lick my the asshole, okay, than play fucking Gears of War. You wanna know why? Gears of War failed me a long time ago when it first came out, and here's why, okay? Yeah, it's a great game, whatever, it's got campaign, it's got a online play, kinda. Here's my problem. The online play can lick my ball sack. Wanna know why? Because there was a fucking host lag that they had. And if you don't know what a host lag is, I'll tell you what a host lag is, okay? The host lag is, if you're the host, you have more of an advantage to kill the other player because there's no lag. If you're the other players that aren't hosting the game, there is a slight lag. And I don't know, I mean, anybody who's played Gears of War would know what I'm saying. And I can't believe more people have uh, gotten over it and just kept playing it because I fucking turned it off after that. I was like, I mean, yeah, how how many times can you play the fucking campaign? Great, that's cool. But sometimes you want to go online and play head-to-head -head deathmatch. And the host lag seems like it's just a fucking cheat, man. It's cheap. It's like everybody's bawling about host lag. It's like, I don't understand that. Cool, yeah, man. You know, you wanna know why you're getting more kills? Because you're the host. And there's no and there's no fucking lag for you. But if you're the other guys, then you get this disadvantage handicap. Uh, whatever. The, uh, Gears of War 2, I don't have, I've not played it yet. I don't know if they fixed the host lag. So please write me or leave comments on my uh, film down here and tell me if they fixed it, because I don't know yet. And if they did fix that lag, then yeah, I would love to give it a try and check it out, but fuck you, Gears of War 1, because that made me so, it made me ruin my entire gameplay experience. I fucking cried for hours, dude. I couldn't even, call, I called my mom, I hung up on her, told her I hated her. I mean, God, fuck, fucked up my entire life. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna wrap it up, but uh, that's all I got for now in me. Oh, there's so much hate, but you know, only, it's, it's like a funnel, okay? You can only bring out so much at once. Anyway, there's a, a new DVD that I have out. If you want to check it out, then email me at ratingzdvd at hotmail.com. And, uh, dude, I'll send you one, man. Uh, just pay the shipping price with me and I'll totally send you one. Shipping price would be like, I don't know, two, 250? I mean, you know, send you a DVD shouldn't be that expensive. So I'm, I'm not gonna rip you off, but it's not gonna be free, guys. Uh, I just can't afford all the shipping. I, I've already had 30 people that want a copy of this DVD that, you know, are in the state. And uh, I really can't afford that shipping cost because 250 times 30, well, that's, you know, hello. So, I mean, if you really want one, then uh, it, we'll talk about it on there. Anyway, this is Radium Z, and uh, you're watching my second gamer vlog. And uh, yeah, well, have a good night, guys. And uh, remember, 
keep playing.